Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here and welcome to my Halloween unboxing. In this video we're going to be unboxing all of the Briar 2021 Halloween models including the traditional model, the classic, the plush, and the three stable mates. So let's begin with this spooky unboxing. Let's first take a look at Hermie here. Hermie is the 2021 Briar Halloween plush for this year and he is so adorable. I have been kind of collecting these fun little Briar plushes that are for different holidays and different occasions and such and I do have two other of the Halloween ones so of course I had to get this guy. He is so adorable as you can see he is mainly green and black. He's got these fun little black stitches that are embroidered on him. He even has little bolts in the side of his head because he is kind of like a little Frankenstein plush horse. More cute stitching on him and he has a little hang tag that says Hermie Happy Halloween and there is the back of it. Super adorable and then lastly on his hooves he does have briar on the bottom of one of them. I also think his little head here is really adorable because they didn't give him a forelock so he's got this kind of Frankenstein looking head on him. He looks very cute and I just love him. He is awesome. Next up let's unbox Thriller here. He's kind of like a Frankenstein-y zombie kind of inspired horse. He is very very cool even just in his box. He looks amazing. There's a little picture of him in the corner of the box. Then I'll show you the back of the box before we open him up here. It says Thriller with this really big picture of him on the side. And then the text on it reads, On the night of Halloween, when the space between the living and the dead is at its thinnest, all sorts of creatures appear and roam freely in the moonlight. Pawing his way up from his resting place in the earth is Thriller. With an eerily prowler giving his once gray coat a greenish sheen, he is a shocking sight to behold. His spooky gaze searches the dark, but what is he looking for? He lets out a chilling squeal as he stomps and strikes at the night air, stretching his frayed stitching and revealing peaks of the bones beneath. If you listen closely, you may hear his haunting whinny on the breeze. Carrots! Carrots! Ah, that's funny. So like instead of brains with zombies, he wants carrots! Thriller is looking for carrots! And it also says Thriller has Thriller 2021 in green on his belly. All right, let's actually open this guy up. Here is Thriller. He is so gorgeous. Now he is having some standing issues which is kind of weird like his something with his back legs are kind of off so they don't both set on the ground evenly. So I was trying to set him up like this and he kept falling but he does somewhat balance if you kind of push him back on to these two legs. That's kind of weird. I've never had that happen with this mold before but it's not a huge deal. I can just stick something under his one hoof here and he will stand just fine. I just love the Briar Halloween horses. I feel like Briar has been doing such a good job with them these past several years. They've been just looking absolutely amazing. And let's go ahead and talk about this guy in detail. Right off the bat you might be able to notice how shiny he is looking. He does have a kind of subtle green interface or at least it looks subtle when it's on the white parts of him. But on the black parts, you can really see how green it is right now. Oh my gosh, do you see how incredibly green he is looking? That is so cool. I personally love this interface paint that Briar puts on their models for Halloween and other special decorators and such. I think it is just so pretty and really makes him pop. Instead of looking just kind of monotone like black and white and gray, he's got this really nice pop of green on him. I absolutely love it. Look how cool it is. Oh my gosh, it looks so good on his mane and tail and on his floofy feet. So awesome. 
Let me show you the beautiful face on this guy. His face is really cool. He's got bright green eyes, a nice, really pretty kind of bright emerald green. Those look so nice. And then on his face, he's got some lovely markings. It's kind of made to look a little bit like a skull because of the black around his eyes and then the black on his muzzle. So I really like that touch that does kind of look like a skull on his face, but not too over the top. It kind of just makes it look that way because of that bit of white and black. I think that's a really cool design. Well, let's talk about these awesome bones and stitches going on. I love this idea as well. So cool. So as you can see, there are little black stitches around these patches where he has bone showing. We got some rib showing, and again, those really cool little touches of the stitches there. Uh, my Thriller here does have like a little teeny like airbrush, it looks like paint mishap right there on his hip, but there's nothing else I can see that is wrong with him. He is so gorgeous. I love on his legs and on his tail that he has these white streaks in them. Kind of just reminds me a lot of old school Frankenstein movies and such. Those look awesome, especially on his mane. He's got several of those white stripes mixed in with the black. Looks very cool. Let's take a look at his other side. I might actually like this side better than the other one because I love these details of not only just some ribs showing here, we have bones from his shoulder showing. Again, those awesome black stitches. More black stitches, and then here we see a little bit of his spine, and then also that hip bone and leg bones there. So cool! I just adore him. Again, there's that cool stripe in his tail, and in his feathers, and his mane. And then lastly, we'll flip him over to his belly. On his belly, it does say Thriller 2021, and I love the font they used for this. This is an awesome font. And it is in green, which is pretty awesome. So there is Thriller. I love him. He is a very, very gorgeous boy. Next up here, let's unbox the Halloween classic for this year, whose name is Eek. Here we go. Pull Eek out here. And I love these boxes, by the way. I love that Briar does a little bit of a Halloween twist to them by making them purple. Here we go. Here is Eek. Oh my goodness, he is so awesome. He is on the newer rearing Mustang mold that is sculpted by Maggie Bennett. The same mold was also recently used for the Briarfest 2021 classic model. This guy is very, very cool. I do like his design a lot. And we'll go ahead and get a better look at this awesome guy. So Eek here does also have some fun interface paint on him, but he has what looks like a mixture of green and purple. You can see on his face and his neck, it is mostly green, but on like his part of his mane here, it's kind of more purple. You can kind of see on his tail too, it has green up here, but then purple on the bottom. Again, I really like this touch and I feel like it does make these models that would normally be just kind of black and white pop a lot more and just look very cool and spooky. So Eek here does have a little hang tag and the Eek is done in this kind of spooky with what looks like half of a spider on it. It also has his model number on there. His face has a really neat spider marking right on his forehead. Then he has more spiders, white spiders here on his shoulder and on his belly. And we get into these Appaloosa markings, which have some black spiders on them. Kind of mixed in like they are part of his Appaloosa spots. You couldn't see this at all in the stock pictures. But look how cool this marking is. It actually looks like a spider is coming down off of a spider web. I absolutely love that. That looks so cool. On his other side, we got some more little black spiders on him and then a white spider down here. Some more white spiders. White spider on his shoulder and on his neck. So lots of little spiders. There's actually one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spiders, it looks like on him. 
He does have white legs with these very kind of silvery hooves. That's really cool. I actually like that a lot. A little touch of silver on them. That looks awesome. And then on his belly, it also is in silver where it says eek. And it's the same exact font and stuff as on his hang tag there with the half of a spider and this spooky font. So there is Eek. Oh my gosh, he is so beautiful. And towards the end of this video, I'm also going to see if we can get these models to glow on camera because he is a glow in the dark model as well as a thriller. Well, lastly, we have Spooky Stablemates, which I actually did open up already because I wanted to see which ones I got and try to trade for whichever ones I was missing before I did this video. And fortunately, I was able to do that. I got two of the different ones, but I got duplicates of them. So I traded one of them for the other one that I was missing. So let's go ahead and open up and get a closer look at these awesome little Stablemates. First up here, we have... The model that's based after Jack. These guys don't technically have official Briar names, which is kind of weird, but this guy is based after a former classic Halloween web special that was Jack and Casper, and this one is based after Jack. This is the first year that Briar is doing their spooky stablemates based after models that aren't the traditional Halloween models, and I'm really excited about that because there have been some really cool designs for the classic Halloween models in the past that are just going to make awesome little spooky stable mates. And it just gives them a lot more possibilities to keep continuing doing this spooky stable mate series every year. So here is Jack and he is super cool. He's got so much glitter on him. I love his little pumpkins on him. And he is also supposed to glow in the dark, so he will be in the glow in the dark section of this video later. He's got three little jack-o'-lanterns on him, and they are so adorable. And then he's got three more little jack-o'-lanterns on the other side. It is kind of interesting that they chose the draft mold to represent the Jack Classic, which was originally a full mold. But honestly, I think it's pretty cool that they're just kind of switching things up. While it's neat when the Spooky Stablemates look almost exactly like their traditional or classic counterparts, it is also fun when they kind of mix it up and do the design on a different mold. Now I know one of the things people aren't a huge fan of the Spooky Stablemates is the fact that they cost quite a bit. They are $25 each when you buy them directly from Briar, but I think they are worth it because they do have so much detail to them. They are really nicely done. And I feel like the $25 is worth it, especially when you consider that ends up basically being the typical price of the Stablemate Club models. He is just so cool. Absolutely love this adorable little guy. Next up, we have one. I was so happy that I was able to get him directly from Briar because I really, really wanted this one. Of the three spooky stable mates, this one is my favorite, I think, although I do love them all. So this guy is really neat because he is based on a traditional Briar Halloween model, but one that was not a more kind of regular run sort of deal. Instead, he is based after a model that was for the Briar Velvet Rope event, which was one of the Collector Club events in the past. And so there were only about 50-ish, I believe, of the traditional scale model made. And so I'm just really happy to have a Stablemate version of this guy because I doubt I'll ever own the traditional scale version of this model. So it's really cool. I'm getting a little mini version of him and I love that he is in the Briar Mini Fighting Stallion mold. This guy is just so cool. I love his face. Look at those beautiful striking blue eyes. They are so gorgeous. I absolutely love them. He's got beautiful purpley gray shading on his muzzle and on his mane and also on his chest right there. And on his legs, he's got it kind of all over this beautiful shade of kind of purpley gray. Looks awesome. He has these awesome little purple markings that are made to look like ghosts. And I can't believe how awesomely detailed these are. It's so cool. He's got one on his forehead there, kind of like a little blaze. He's got one on his neck, and then one on his barrel, and one on his haunches. And then the same goes for the other side. I just love how these look and how they're just so spooky and kind of flow into the model. Just so awesome. 
And again, lots of that beautiful purpley shading on him, like on his tail and his legs. Just a really gorgeous little model. I absolutely love this little guy. Lastly here is the model I actually ended up trading for, and it arrived in time to do this video, which is awesome. This is the Boogeyman-inspired little stablemate. Boogeyman was a, another classic Halloween model that came out a few years ago. It was meant to be like a slime horse. Oh my gosh, this model is so cool. We got this majority of black on it, but then this really neat array of slime coming down. And it's got a mixture of colors of mostly yellow, some purple, and a lot of green. The legs also have this variety of airbrushed colors. Got lots of purple. This one's got like a little bit of green in there. And then this other leg has more yellow on it and a little bit of purple on the front of it. Just really fun how diverse the colors look on it. And then here on its body, we got all that fun, drippy, goopy slime dripping down on the model. And look at that face with that beautiful purple eye on one side and then a green eye on the other. Really love that. I love that Briar really did just do perfect little mini versions of these designs on the little stable mates. Your ears have some black on the front of them. That looks really cool. And then we got this nice little bit of green on her forehead. Very cool. Such a lovely model. All right, now of the models in this video, these three are supposed to glow in the dark. So let's see if we can get them to glow in the dark on camera. Okay, I'm sorry, this isn't really the best, but here are the models in their glowy glowiness. I'll really have to get a black light or a UV light or something next year to make showing you these glowy models a little easier. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to really make Thriller glow. And of course, just as I was doing him, it got cloudy and so I wasn't able to really charge him up in the sun. So unfortunately, I can't show you him glowing here. Here are all the Briar 2021 Halloween models. Now wait, before you go, if you would like to win your very own Eek model, just like this one here, check out my virtual Halloween event that is going on next weekend. There will be a giveaway for Eek as well as three fun live streams, all in a Halloween theme. The times and schedule for that will be posted on screen. If you're watching this video after that weekend has passed, I will have the recordings of those live streams up on YouTube. This is a completely free event to attend and also free to enter the giveaway for Eek. So if you can come and join, check it out. I think it is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to celebrate some Halloween fun with you guys online. Thank you all so much for watching. Which of these Halloween models is your favorite? Honestly, for myself, I might have to say the little fighting stallion here just because I think he is so cool, but I honestly love all of the Halloween models this year. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.